Tell me what happened, Lulu. I, w I was hitchhiking and Johnny picked me up. I'm that kind of guy. Johnny, you in here? My handlers have come to retrieve me. You're just in time for the fun part. What are you doing here? I wish I could say I dropped by to see you, but I was dragged here at gunpoint. Have you decided whether you're going to kill me or not? <sighs> Lulu, you need to leave. You don't care if I'll ever die? No, I have my own problems. Whatever you did to make Jason drag you here is on you to solve. I think she likes me. Um, can I meet you later? <laughs> Are you gonna show up this time? What do you mean this time? Ask your cousin. Carly? Yeah, let's get out of here. I'll tell you about that. She already said no. Why don't you back off? I think he's scared. I can tell you like me. It's not my problem. I sure it is. That's why I'm gonna send you home. Hey, you want a couple of dollars? You don't tell me where to go. Flunky. Last time I got in the car with a stranger, everyone in my life freaked. When will I not be a stranger? I'll let you know. Who are you mad at? I didn't exactly have a fight with my dad. It was more of a disagreement about the guy that I was, that I am dating. Mm, the loser in the park. I thought I'd find you up here. If you knew I was going to be here, it would have been smart to stay away. I'm going to shut your big mouth. Huh? How about that? I was trying to play the big shot, huh? What's the matter? Are you afraid Lou is going to wake up one day and realize what a loser you are? You're the one that's screwing up her life. It's not even business. You know, Zakar is life smoking mirrors. Maybe you're. Setting up some deal, so you try to blame it on somebody else. And I kidnapped Lulu to make it all look good. You're an ass. I told you to stay away from her. She never would have come near me if you wouldn't have broken her heart and sent her into an emotional free fall. Guys, you're you're in, in. And I tried to push her away for her own protection, which is the hell of a lot more than you did. Okay, gentlemen, and I use that term loosely. Perhaps we can put the debate as to who is more warped or unworthy on hold till we actually secure Lulu's release. So Lou is being held by Friar Tuck and his band of not so merry men, huh? Actually, actually, Rob, Robin Hood was the leader of that pack of ne'er do wells. Um, Friar Tuck was his uh, advisor, accomplice, but and sanctified advisor. They've been sometimes provided much needed comic relief. But can we take a recess from the English lit lesson and focus on getting Lulu back? How did you find me? It's a group effort. Spinelli and your boyfriend. Logan? You got any others I don't know about? I remember you in Windermere. You're trying to bait my father. You were gutsy. <laughs> I thought it was just a one-time thing, but I guess not. <laughs> Maybe you do have more bravery than brains. You're looking for something. Do yourself a favor. Keep your mouth shut. If I just came in here to get something to eat, but I would love the excuse to hear some bones crack. If you can't make things work out with her, it's not gonna be because of me. I think your father had the right idea. Throw Logan off the roof.
Do you know anything about Michael? Why are you asking? Do you know anything or not? No. Then shoot Trevor. Or go nail my sister on the living room rug. Either way, I got some place to be. Sonny lets his temper get the best of him, yes, but he's a smart man. What do you do? Defend this place with spitballs and your good charm? I need a damn gun. Well, you think we leave him lying around like after dinner mints? I don't know. Uncle Rudy does. He taught me to be prepared, John. Apparently, unless there's a man involved. Got a guy bringing some food. Mr. C says you can have a snack. And with that, he certainly secured himself a seat in heaven. Art takes inspiration. Can you even spell inspiration? <clears throat> I think it bothered you. What? The way Sonny talks to me. I mean, you said that you didn't care if he did me on the living room floor. It's a nice rug. <laughs> All right, guys, that's enough. I got it from here. <laughs> Oh, Johnny. Johnny, your father's not going to be happy about this at all. <laughs> what? You think just because you wash him, wipe him, and wheel him, he's got some sort of allegiance to you? Johnny, Johnny, your father, he trusts me. He does. Yeah. yeah. Then maybe you can give me the answers I need. Where's my sister? What'd my father do with Claudia? Mm, let me think. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking. You want to bet? Oh, but on second thought, that hasn't worked out too well for you, has it? Okay. Well, so what are you thinking about right now? The voices. The voices? Yeah. What? Okay, what, what, what are the voices saying? So why am I supposed to believe that you coming on to me is not about me in any way? Why would I lie? Why do you breathe? Hmm. Excuse me. You need to have a word with you. Yeah, I'll talk to the higher. If help. you gave a damn about Lulu, you'd tell her you're as crazy as the rest of your family and leave her alone. Okay. I'll try to follow. Him. I won, you lost. Lulu's mine. She doesn't want anything to do with you. That means, hey, pay attention. You don't get a say in what goes on anymore in her life. I get the hell out of my face and get back to work. My father might need to be wiped.